Good day, my dear Shankar students. Today I am happy to, to teach you another lesson in English. The name of the lesson is Magic of Sir. It is a very interesting lesson. Before I get to the lesson, I want to do a couple of things. One is, my name is Janathan Rao Allada. I am the correspondent of Sujana Vijayalaya. And I hope all of you guys are happy, stay safe from Corona, you, your friends, your relatives, everybody that you know. I hope they are all safe. Follow the safety practices of Corona and you will be alright. Now, I am very happy to let you know, we have close to 100 Zoom meetings for uh, 10th class and 8th class and 9th class, 8th class maybe a little bit less, and also close to 300 videos covering various subjects from LKG to 8th class. These are all our efforts and uh, these will be useful only if you have the textbooks and the study materials with you. If you don't have it, it's not going to help. So parents don't pitch for money. Buy the books, get the books one by another. Without the books, the boys are lost. And they will see the problem, they will experience the problem when they go to higher classes. Okay, don't worry about this this year. This year one way or another we will cover this over. I am very happy to let you know. We are ahead of a lot of other schools. Because of continuously we are working almost uh, there were, I don't know, 10, 10 or 12 teachers are here, but we don't have the full strength yet because some teachers are hesitant from the bipartisan radar, Corona. So, Corona is like the world of the world, the other teachers are there. Meanwhile, in the end of the day, we are covering some subjects, Rajasri Madam, we are covering some subjects, and there are other teachers for biology. Physical science, Telugu, and other subjects, lower class, all subjects. Okay? Okay, very good. So, parents buy the books. Okay? Today, uh, prior to this, I taught you another lesson, and there is one more lesson that is left over. Puru the Brave. It's a, it's a story of Alexander and the soldier, how Puru is the one of the uh, one of the sincere, most sincere soldiers and all that. We will get to that maybe tomorrow in the morning or next class, in the next class. So, in this lesson, the characters are, there is an old woman, Shume, and another strange old, old man. The whole story runs around these three people. This happened in, this happens in, in China. Okay? Now, I am going to read the lesson. I am going to read the lesson. I want you to watch my pronunciation and if there are any difficult words, I will identify them and give the meaning then and there itself. Okay. So, the story, so to review, to summarize, this is a story that happened about some family in China. There is an old woman and then an old girl. The girl goes outside and on the way back, on the way back, she misses her, she could not reach her, reach her uh, home. So on the way, she stopped at one place, she wanted to get into the house and she asked, is there is anybody? There is nobody. But the girl then says, having known that there, are no, there is nobody in the house. She went inside and along with the MND, there is everything is in uh, shambles. And what, uh, what it means is everything is unclean. Things are placed as they are, as they are, uh, as they are and when, no. Abhi Ekhavarsa Jamunai, Puska, Samal and Inu, they are in a haphazard manner, not in a, an ordinary way. So Ekhavarsa Jamunai, so what this girl did is that also the floor is not clean. 
So she cleaned the floor, she put everything in, in order. Meanwhile, an old man, in a strange old man comes into the house and she tells, explains what she did. And the old man was very happy that this girl, without anticipating anything, Niswartha Seva Jaitanya, Niswartha Seva, Bhagavad Gita Raghur Chattar, Niswartha Karma. So, so the old man was pleased with this girl, why, how she did clean the entire house, she put all things in order, so she was happy. So he wanted to give her a small present. What she does, what he does is, he cuts with the scissors, cuts a little part of his beard, beard, head off, and then ask her, and wrap it up in cloth, and ask her to open it up only after reaching home. So the girl left that place and went home and explained the whole thing to her mom. Her mom was very pleased that she did clean the house and all that. Then when they opened it up, they opened the cloth, they found a very, very, very special silk thread. And with that they started weaving some clothes and all that. Interestingly, the as and when they are preparing the silk cloth, they are using part of the silk, but the silk remains in that cloth around the Adyam Tajalit. They are so finally, in course of time, they were rich and they were very, very happy. So this is a story of a, a girl, <coughs> very interesting story of a girl who, without of her own own, when she misses the way to home back, she cleans the house, puts everything in order, an old man comes and rewards her with a silk thread, which never, never adjusts. So, as what should go take our silk thread was thrown out of it, and they, that is one of the finest silk thread they could sell. So, they are selling it for a little bit of uh, heavy price, high price, and they became rich. That is the story. And here, Vakan Kapudu, Teluna Chaparante, Vakan, Muslama, and Kuthrunar. Rodney, a papa, bite well. Bite well, you chin up, oh, dad, no name, a child of a washroom for two hundred dollars. I pay, I pay the anchor, I throw the anchor, I don't tell her, but the input will be tough for today. Ever in Narani, yet we have laid down low. So she went inside. Long will stay around the empire, you say, you were the floor cleaning a little. So she wanted to clean it and she wanted to put everything in order. So she instantly, the the old man, strange old man, came inside. And he was surprised with Susha, Susharki, you to the country, so the old man author, he is very happy and he gives her a gift for Chana Bahman. He said, get down, 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 so they started using that. After Dr. Nathan Tay, with a war zuna or cloth from silk matroom, such as So gradually they started selling the silk, a silk and the silk cloth, the Amun Malvetaro, Amun Malvet, they became rich and finally they became very happy. That is the story. So the whole story is a between an old woman and a girl. Her name is Sumay. Sumay, an old woman that's a her mother, and there is a old man. Those are the three characters in this. The whole story runs around those three characters. Now I am going to read the lesson. I want you to watch how I am pronouncing. If there is a problem, 
you can always uh, send me a voicemail message now, either voicemail message or WhatsApp message. It's okay. Absolutely. Okay. So, uh, if you send me a message, I will be more than happy to answer questions. So, I basically covered the bird's eye view of the total listening chemical, character storage panel. Now, I am going to read it. So, watch out the pronunciation. Then first half of the case that uh, again money less no explain the other story more chip and no. And finally I will wrap it up. Okay? Now, if you look at page 54, the magic of self. This is a story from China. A long, long time ago, there lived an old woman in a hut in the forest. Alangela or forest law, hut law, old moon that. Her husband has been killed by a tiger. Some years ago, her husband do, or tiger ma husband ni chumpishinder, chumpishinder. Ah, husband chumpishinder. She was old and weak. Life was difficult for her and her daughter Su Mei. Alla ataoru nala avi kinnu, avi kuthi ki chala kastanya ondarala ataoru nala. Su Mei did all the cooking and cleaning herself, including cooking to clean her kano. Su Mei takes it. She also looked after the silk work. In the in their garden, our garden already silk on Sunday, silk on Sunday is a hot pool. The worms gave them fine thread to make beautiful silk. Our worms are mostly silk, beautiful silk in the area. So we sold the silk to the travelers in the village market. In this way, she got enough money to buy food and other things. In this way, our garden already the silk worm station, silk to tie this one worm Sunday. I mean the Part in the silk history, history which is market money, Amir and Martanto, there is also put to also in Badazani, from Punadata. One day, as Sume was returning home, it started to rain heavily. Oros Nevende, Chala, Theoranda, was there for some, but Padinata. It was getting dark too, Chala, shake it like that. So Sume uh, went and ran into the first hut she saw. When the bedroom door was open, what to what to hurt her? When the door was open, 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 and there was no one inside, our door was not there. Either anybody in, she called loudly, that you know, the door was not in the door, and the door was open, but there was no reply. There was no reply, there was no reply. So we looked around the door, so the door was open, the door was very dirty, the door was open, there are dirty on that. Bowls and parts were left unwashed. Bowls and parts were no away washed out of that. I can't know how to repay. And so me swept the floor and washed all the bowls and parts. The bowls and parts are in front of me. When the floor and the clean gate is there, bowls and parts are no out of the clean gate. By the time she had finished, the hat was as clean as a new one. And the finish is the yellow hat along the as clean as a new one, but the but the hot light never did not. By then, by then the rain had stopped too. But the washing powder, I paid that. Then I had I had better go home. She said to herself, "Son, no, I am not going to leave. You have to go on to the other side. Mother will be worried. Mama, shall be worried. Of all the rain, you will be very worried." As she walked out of the hut, she saw a strange man, old man. But Hutton and White would say he she saw a old, uh, straight old man. His long beard reached down to his waist. Long beard and such his waist was in such a thing that. And he looked about a hundred. He looked about a hundred years old. Shomaru was smaller than him. Hundred twenty-four hundred. The old man looked at Sume and smiled. And Susi, I am a Susi. I am now in America. Uncle, she said, I went into the a hut because it was raining. I hope you don't mind. Until then, no. Wash your hands. Don't get hot. Don't get hot. Don't get hot. I hope me them. I mean, 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 I did he clean the hut for me? And I did it. Even now, he had to not mention who clean it. Yes, answered Sumay. Let me help you 
into the hat. Let me help you into the hat. Hat will give you something on the hat. The old man was very happy. Tala hat on the hat. Yes, you are a very kind girl. He, he said, I must give you a present. He took a present. He took a present. He took out a pair of scissors and cut off a little of his long white right beard. A beard name, what is Sakeshi Kara. He put this, he put it in a piece of old cloth, tied it up and gave the bundle to them. So, I go to this one, the only that I'm Sakeshi Veshi, should she get the only thing. So, we thanked him and went home. Thank you, she will tell that. Her mother was very glad to see. Sume se, Tanputru, se prochan salama, sala anandavadita. Sume told her mother about the old man. The old man couldn't see, Sume kept in that. Sume opened the bundle to show her mother the old man's white beard. The white beard is from Mumbai, a white beard to stupid in that. To their surprise, they, are, they saw the finest silk thread. In the whole of China. China must have been the finest silk in the world. Beer gala, silk in the world. They began to weave with the silk, the dark gala, the silk is funny, not nature. When they had finished weaving, they had made the finest silk they had ever seen. Occasionally, Ampere, 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 Charles Sakhan is three no, a silk to the IP theta. They noticed that the, the bundle of silk thread still remained exactly the same size as before. Vandal Matra, Alakariya Sunanti, Vandal and Silk Thai is like that. Alakya on that. News of their wonderful silk spread far and wide. Far and wide it is not the same as 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 the same. So the old woman and her daughter became famous and happily lived ever after. Hatharata, they lived happily lived ever after. So that is the story. <coughs> That's the story. So basically it is about, there is something we should learn from this uh, lesson. This girl, this girl, did clean the floor and the bowl, put the bowls and pot, clean them, put them in the proper place without anticipating anything from the one of the hut. Ever three level. One of the hut or three level. Alantli, Nisvartanja Cheshundi. Nisvartha Dharma Tadjini. Karma, Manusvartam Cheshundu, Edo Ustunjala and Cheshundi Vedu. Nisvartha Dharma Tadjini, Edi Asim Spurna Cheshundi Karma Mata. Andhwa Cheshundi Vala, Ayana, Old Man Uchi Varki, Thank Cheshundi, Yama Hitcher. And once again, the story, the story name of the lesson is The Magic of Silk. And it is, there are three characters here. An old woman, her daughter, and a strange old man. So once upon a time in China, they lived a family in the forest, and they a husband, wife, and a daughter, Sume. And her uh, the husband was killed was killed by a tiger in the forest. So only there are two left here, Sume and her. Mother. Her mother was very old. So Sume did all the cooking, cleaned the house and all that. But she took care of her mother very well. One day she went to the forest and on the way back it rained very heavily so she could not reach her house. On the way she got into a hut, whatever the first hut that is that came near a uh, hut not really. And then when she asked if there is somebody in the hut and there is nobody in the hut, so she asked again and again and when she found out that there is nobody in the hut, then she went inside and to her surprise they saw, uh, she saw a very unclean floor and bowls and uh, uh, bowls and cups and all that unwashed. So she immediately what she did, she cleaned the floor, washed all the bowls and cups and then arranged them in proper order. By the time the rain also stopped and she, she thought that let me go home. By the time there is a strange old man that comes into the, into the hut and uh, asks her uh, and the girl is very worried whether she, she, if he gets angry at her for her getting into his hut. 
but it is not the case. The old man saw the floor playing, chops and all that was, and uh, he was very pleased and he wanted to give a gift to the girl. I don't think it was, sorry, a gift. So finally he came with the scissors, he cut his beard and put it in a cloth, wrap it up and tie it up and give it to the girl and ask the girl to open it up only after reaching home. When he went there, the mother was happy that her daughter came back safe and then they opened it and they saw the fine silk, fine silk thread. With that they, they were, they, they uh, weaved the silk cloth and sold it and getting a, you know, everybody, everybody got the word that they have the finest silk thread. Silk cloth from the Jitte, one of the Nampari, they lived very happily. Interesting thing is, the cloth where he put the beard and wrapped it up, in that the, the uh, silk thread never, never, never adjusted. It is already, it is continuously there. That's the magic, of, that is the magic of silk thread. Okay? Okay, you understood me? So, now, now let me tell you, let me tell you in uh, English and as well as tell you, once upon a time English, once upon a time there was a forest, and there was a old man, there was a old man, old uh, woman and, a, and their daughter, the old man was killed by a tiger, so the old woman and the girl was, uh, they were uh, living there, and the girl was raising some, uh, 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 what is that, uh, uh, for, uh, for uh, getting the silk, silk one, they are growing some silk one, from the silk that she gets from there, she is to go to the nearby village and sell it. One day she went, uh, she went out of the house and on um, her way back, uh, it was raining very heavily, it was getting dark, so she got into a hut. There she asked, to, you know, first she asked to find out if there is anybody in the hut, there is nobody, so she went inside and she saw the floor is dirty and unclean, bowls are not washed, cups are not washed, so three, she cleaned the floor, she cleaned all the balls and put them in order. And finally, when she about, she made up her mind to go home. At that time, the old man, old man comes in, and she and the uh, old man comes in, and he he was surprised to see the floor clean, all the cups and all that clean, and put it in proper place and all that. So he was so happy that he said, "I would like to give you a gift." And then he with the scissors, he cuts part of his beard put it on a cloth, wrap it up and tie it up and give it to the girl and ask the girl to open it up only when she uh, only when she goes home. The girl exactly did the same thing. When she went home, her mother saw the girl and she was so, so happy to see her daughter safe and when they opened it up, they saw the beard. Instead of the beard, they saw fine silk thread. So they started weaving and then with that uh, so at class, they started selling, the word went around. Everybody knew that they have the finest silk thread, so everybody started burning, uh, buying, sorry, everybody started buying, and uh, they became very uh, very rich, comfortably rich. So that is the story, but the moral I can see, it is not written in the textbook, but she has done something to help the old man, because somebody asked him, he never expected a gift, from the old man. I don't know that there is an old man or old woman or is there anybody else in the house, in the hut, she does not know. Without knowing any of this, Nisvat Thanga Savajasan, Sahaya Jasan, Kli Jasan, Andhwala, that that is what called Nisvat Thakarma, Bhagavad Gita Chukta, Nisvat Thakarma. Without anticipating anything from what she did, she did it. That's why the God in the form of the old man rewarded her. Okay, this is very good, Nairam. Anyway, so I would like you to guys to get the get the essence of this essence of the lesson. Always, always try to help somebody, not anticipating anything without anticipating anything from in return. Okay, thank you. I hope you like the uh, like the, my teaching, and it's a very interesting lesson. And uh, uh, if you like it, share it with somebody. And if you have a doubt, please send me a voicemail message or send a WhatsApp message. Thank you.
Have a great day.